what matters more is are there demonstrable skills multiple steps ahead of everybody else and in that case the bsc versus bd should be honest what is different in let's say your people which is teachers and yes. that's the microsoft office it's perfectly nurtured for all of us <laughs> and uh, actually give time for myself after classes and that's a big plus for me then we have couple of clubs like uh, open source club we have the wali party in the resort we all play together Scale School of Technology. Now they are saying that they are going to disrupt B Tech, but why? Is the effort that they are going to put even worth it? What is the exact vision? Let's ask the hard questions from the founder himself, Anshuman. Let's just meet him and ask him. Hey. Hi, Anshuman. Hi. So nice to meet you. Same here. I'm going to ask you a lot of hard questions today. Let's get started. Oh. Let's get to the point. <laughs> sure, please, please, please. So, Anshuman, you're trying to change how colleges work about the UG program, something you're doing, right? Can you explain what exactly are you doing? What problem are you trying to solve? Yeah, a um, little bit of context. The last year, we were very focused on just the working professional segment, okay. and we continue to be. Okay. Uh, however, we felt that a lot of gaps exist in the undergraduate education space. Right? India is a country where everybody becomes a doctor yeah. or an engineer. It's a lot of people doing engineering every yeah. year. But unfortunately, we don't have um, graduates who are employable on day one. Yeah. Um, so we feel that maybe we can show the template that works for undergraduate education. And that's why we started Scalar School of Technology, which is a replacement for the undergraduate program. So basically, people do B Tech usually CSC. Now they are doing in SST. What degree are they getting? So they get a BSc in Computer Science from Bengaluru, okay, uh, and a Masters from a European university. Okay. If I ask a very hard question, do you think BSc from BITS is good? At least, like with the companies that we work, and these are the top companies in tech, that doesn't seem to matter. What matters more is are there demonstrable skills. Uh, that always takes precedence. Correct. Okay. So um, the way the program is designed today, um, within the program there's a one-year internship, and right from day one there's a lot of focus on uh, building things and then uh, building things in the real world. So somebody who graduates from the program already has like a one year of experience. They already have built very complicated uh, front-end, back-end projects. They've seen okay. scale as well. Yeah. Uh, and in that case, I mean, they're in a way multiple steps ahead of everybody else. And in that case, the BSc versus BDA should be honest, does not matter. What matters is what. If I think about it, then I am a BTech electronics. Then <laughs> obviously that doesn't even matter compared to the students that you have, I guess. What are you doing differently? Because there are so many colleges, right? If you think about it, IITs, NITs, hmm. and I was just talking to a few of your employees, and I heard that. Few people have left IITs and ITs, like not CS branches. I guess the other branches, but they have still left it and joined the SST. So I wanted to understand that why, like because SST is still very new. But then, what are you doing so differently that someone would leave other colleges and join SST? Why? Sure. Um, this is going to be our second intake uh, in the future here. But let me talk about the differentiators, right? And uh, differentiators also, I want to split into three parts. What is different in the curriculum and structure? Uh, what is different in, let's say, your people, which is teachers and and people that you will interact with, yeah. and then what is then difference in the career and outcomes that you get post the program? Um, if I talk about the curriculum and structure, the way the program is structured is that the first one and a half years is where you learn everything about computer science, okay, uh, things that really matter, huh. uh, and this starts from day one. So there is no chemistry, no physics. Things that probably would not matter to a computer science engineer. You've already done that in your class twelve. Okay. You start with what matters on day zero. Um, so one and a half years, basically, what is whatever is covered in B Tech of other colleges. Right. Then one year of internship. Okay. Um, and post that one year, then the last one and a half year is about specializations. Okay. Where uh, you can choose to study about AI and machine learning, or you can choose to study about what matters for senior engineering. Now that you have a year of experience, you understand now like what is scale, why let's say course structuring is important. So HLD, LLD, all of yeah, that. Okay, got it. Now you have greater <laughs> yeah. appreciation for. Yeah, yeah. And then there is another specialization which is around algo trading. 
Okay. Uh, some of the top paying companies in our ecosystem are HFT companies. So what does it take to let's say go and work at those companies? Students with just like you know who have studied only for one and a half years for internship of one year. I mean, uh, it is hard to get an internship of just one or two months. Why would they take your students for internship for like one year? Actually, if you go and talk to the companies, it's the other way now. So when you only have an internship for one or two months, what happens is if I hire an intern before mm-hmm. the intern can become productive, the internship is over. Right. So a person comes in, it takes them a month or two to understand the systems. maybe start doing some tasks and by the time they can actually start to actually deliver uh-huh. the internship gets done right? so you can't even properly evaluate the person and they haven't also added anything to talk about in yeah. the so companies actually prefer to have people for longer duration internships okay. because that helps them ramp up in the system plus they are able to produce some impact in the company and they are truly able to identify the exceptional versus maybe not so exceptional folks um So one year internship actually, in a way, companies prefer. And they are on board with it, like you have already. Okay. Yes, I mean, uh, at Scaler we have about nine employer partners. Uh-huh. For SST, the companies that have explicitly signed up, that is already in the range of eighty to hundred, and these are again the top employer names that you'll be hearing about. Okay. Uh, they are on board with that entire one year internship uh, phenomenon in some ways. Um, And the reason for that is that they prefer to have people for longer periods of time. Got it. So uh, that's one. But the other question is, hey, look, I mean, somebody has only one and a half year of experience. Why should I prefer that person versus hiring a third year graduate? Right. Okay. And the answer there is, look, I mean, the, the third year graduates spend their first year studying about things which were not relevant for computer science. This is the case in most colleges. Right. So in truly, you have only two years of actually studying CS related things. Right. We have crunched that two years to one and a half years, okay. without compromising on depth. Okay. Um, and the one advantage that we have is that for everything that we teach, we have been able to build simulations where you have you can actually go and try it out. So, for example, um, when you study about databases, uh, be it, let's say either building a mini database yourself from scratch, which is let's say let's say building an in in memory database which is which can handle transactions, indexing, etc. You can build that inside our ecosystem. If it is about writing complex SQL queries, you can also write that inside our ecosystem. All of that you can do, and you get immediate feedback for. Okay. So it becomes easy for you to learn really, really fast. Right. So the iteration cycles are as such, where in that one and a half year, our average graduate does a lot more than let's say a regular graduate. Okay. Just so I can give you a few more examples. Um, we teach front end and back end. Uh-huh. Now the sample project in front end is building a Google Sheet. Okay. Now building a Google Sheet is a decently complex front end project, which let's say uh, an SD two in a company would be required to do. Uh-huh. Reason being that when you're handling so many text boxes and there's so many updates happening at the same time, the way you handle repaints etc. decides how laggy your page is or whether it is actually snappy or not. Okay. Uh, now that's something that's not expected of a SD one. Right. But These folks go and build it. Very similarly, backend project is building a full-fledged e-commerce system. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, at high quality, again, like a regular entry-level person would find very hard to build. These guys build it as part of Twitter. Okay. So mm-hmm. that sets them apart. Got it. And in terms of curriculum, so I I heard you talking about AIML like in the last year and about front-end and back-end development. Also, do people learn say SRE or DevOps or like you know other topics that are related to software engineering? Do they learn that as well? Yeah, so in the specialization, the oh. specialization that I talked about for senior engineering. Correct. So there, uh, you learn about system design, you learn about low-level design, okay. and then you also learn about let's say certain, like for example, things like CI/CD pipelines. Yeah. Um, or what are the right practices to make sure that your code doesn't have security holes? Uh-huh. So cyber security to some extent. Okay. Um, So, so there, there are those elements as well, which basically is needed to, for you to be a full-fledged senior engineer. Correct. Uh, okay. So that's part of the curriculum. There. Okay. That was the first part, which is the curriculum and structure. Okay. Um, the second part is people. Huh. Now, in people, uh, one of the things we notice is that in medical science, you have doctors who teach, right? So they practice, they do yeah, yeah. they teach. Uh, in our college ecosystem, you'll find mostly professors teaching. They don't have yeah. hands-on experience themselves. We feel that's broken, and um, 
Hence, uh, in our case, all 100% teachers. They are people who come with proper industry experience. Uh, for example, right now for the cohort going on, uh, there are four subjects happening in parallel. Um, the person teaching, so one of the person has been a senior engineer at a company called Resmedia.net, direct eye. Uh, one of the person has been a senior engineer at Snapdeal and then has been a tech lead at, at Scalar. Uh, that's the person teaching them programming. Um, one of the other person has been a web developer himself and then he's teaching web development course. Okay. And then we also have a creator module for which <laughs> actually Mohak Mangal who is also a YouTuber is okay. helping us with the, with the content and some lectures. Alright. So people with the industry experience are teaching as well. Right. Yeah. Second thing is um, we feel that the role of seniors is very important. And uh, seniors might or might not be incentivized in general to give you enough uh, enough uh, attention so we have our role of batch success managers these are people again who are junior engineers they live in the campus okay and every batch success manager is responsible for a set of 40 to 50 people okay their success in life is their responsibility okay. so every day doing labs making sure people are able to solve assignments their success in the contest it is their responsibility so you just talked about the campus i have heard a lot from you but now can i meet the students and come to know about their experience can i go to the campus absolutely you are most welcome to let me take you sure also i am intrigued that most of the colleges are in cities like outskirts and all so why bangalore that's a good question let me show you something you see that yes that's the microsoft office and like there are offices all around us within the middle of all companies. Correct, yes. And what that does is that uh, now we have access to all kind of techies who can be in the campus. Correct. For example, we have uh, teachers who are also techies. Uh -huh. We have mentors who mentor students one on one. Uh -huh. They're also techies and then they go to the campus. Correct. Uh, we have the head of technology or like heads of companies who come and visit the campus and spend a day there. And then we have CTOs and heads of companies who also come and spend a day in the campus. Uh, for example, we had Amoth who was, a, who was the CTO of Flipkart, right now the founder of Quran. Okay. Um, we had uh, Bhavin Turakya, he is the CEO of the Directi Group. Before we get to the campus, my last question, what is your favorite memory of SST so far? I'm just sitting with the students and solving a puzzle with them. Uh, we spent one entire night going over a bunch of programming questions and puzzles and we solved them together. Um, and the way, reason why that is very fond memory is because I see that as something that we didn't have in college. We Correct. didn't have our faculty coming and helping us and encouraging us to to go and participate and compete outside Correct. and helping us in the process. Um, I'm very happy that these students are getting that. True. And if at all these students come and go and become better engineers than me or everybody else at Scalar, then we would consider ourselves to be successful. It's not a game, it's a red skin. Hi. Hello, I am Kiti and I am here to know a bit about SST and about your experience over here. So first thing that, why did you guys join SST? Because it's a very different choice, you know, people usually do B.Tech and all of this. So didn't you guys feel very scared? And uh, why this firstly and how did you guys convince your parents? Who's going to answer this one? Okay. Okay, so uh, why did I join? It's because of the curriculum. The curriculum here is very good and very different from the other colleges. Okay. Teaching us what is required on the industry level and how I convinced my parents. It was a bit difficult in the beginning. Okay. But uh, after that, when we had a problem with my counselor and professor, they were convinced that yeah, the uh, curriculum is really good and still learning. Nice, nice. What about you guys? How's the experience going so far? The experience has been full of curiosity. I would say, in the past three to four months, as someone who's never coded before. 
it was something very unique to me right okay learning something totally from scratch learning java cli even python and now data structures it's pretty fast paced but i'm loving it here nice yeah. so can you say that the schedule is a bit hectic i wouldn't say it's hectic it's perfectly nurtured for all of us hmm. and uh, actually give time for myself after classes and that's a big plus for me nice nice yeah. what is this this looks very cool what is it it's called spot micro we are making a robotic version of a pet dog so oh built the framework and uh, the skins all in that 3d printer and we are trying to put life in it through a uh, robot operating system and all that looks very cool bhai icpc ke bare mein batana Oh, is it okay? You have participated in ICPC. Yeah, I had participated in the ICPC prelims just a week ago, and I got two fifty eighth rank, and I cleared the round one. Oh, nice! Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, how much experience do you have? Uh, I don't have much experience. I have around four months of coding experience, and before that also I had only the eleven twelve CBSE computer science. So in four months of practice, you have qualified for ICPC ka prelims. Yeah, that's amazing. Congratulations! Thank you. And all the best for the next round. Thank you. But nice meeting you guys. Thank you so much for all the info. And see you. Now that we have seen their college, I feel we should definitely visit their hostel because we all know hostel plays a very very important role in anyone's college life. We should directly talk to the students and understand their experiences of their hostel life. Hi, folks. Hi. Hi. I am Kitty, and you are. I am Shruti Verma. I oh Mishra. Nice to meet you. That's nice cool. Meet you too. So how's it going? Uh it's going well. Like I have just arrived from Macro Campus. So actually, I wanted to know because in the Macro Campus, I saw everyone studying very seriously. Is the scaler making you study all the time, or do you have like a after college life or hostel? <laughs> I mean it may look like that but it's really not we really really enjoy here have couple of activities to engage with we have gym amenities which we extensively use uh then we have couple of clubs like uh open source club which i am really a part of and like um couple of students here are also building attendance app for the entire skiller school of technology in the open source world uh while others are getting themselves started for the gsoc uh, 2024 while there are other clubs as competitive programming tedx and uh, there is also ecel in scalar school of technology which is just getting started but this is all study wala things ji so open source tedx there's no masti happening over here or what mm, no no it's not like that after classes we have a pool table uh, foosball table here we all play here uh, together and uh, we have amphitheater here we all jam around around diwali we have diwali party in the resort we all play together um light up the hours there and also uh, we have here cultural club media club and sports club thank you so much guys for thank telling you. me all of this So in this video we saw the founders view and the students view about SST. It definitely looks very interesting, different, promising. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and also I'm leaving a link to SST in the description. Share it with folks who would like to know about SST and anyone who would be interested to know about this and see you next time. Bye.